This is gonna be part one tool. What if Deku had Kiminara's powers? So yeah. This would actually be a quirk for Deku. Deku will be born with a quirk was able to like he's able to move, regenerate, and grow his bones. Grow and shrink his bones. And uh let's say because of this, like he he found out that on top of that he has super regeneration, which is able to regenerate his skin and bone very easily. Including his muscle as well. Uh, he he has super strength and super agility. His reaction time is superhuman. And yeah. Let's say the doctors like figure out that Deku's quirk is uh he's able to like grow he's able to manipulate his bones and doctors say that hmm i wonder hmm why is what is happening like he say he grabbed deku's arm and but deku just kept growing his bones more and more and more so the doctor thought he was like taking deku by his arm and just like to take him on Take him on a test, but like, let's say that his like his hand just keeps on getting longer and longer and longer. So it's like, doctor thinks that something's happening because Deku's hand just like extended very far. And they say, "Can you bring him back?" And Deku says, "Yes." And they just like brings it back, and then the doctor's just like, "Say, can you do anything else?" And Deku says, "Deku says maybe." And he let's say that he just like. Like, flicks his arm down. And, like... Let's say, like, four bones just, like, shoot out. Like, they don't shoot out. Just, like, four bones just, like, spike up. I say the doctor sees this and says, Huh, so it's bone manipulation, huh? And, yeah. So, they're cool, like... When people ask him at school, like, what's his quirk? And Deku says, well, my quirk is called, um... Let's see, he calls it. Let's actually. I'm gonna leave that to you guys to decide. I'll pick the best idea and I'll tell you guys in part two. One. Alright, so. Yeah. Deku's abilities are. So, when Deku goes to school, he explains his quirk, and let's say Bakugo like, thinks that his quirk is like not that flashy, and it's like. Bakugo thinks that. It may be strong. It, it poses a competition to him. So he wants to just like. Knock Deku out of the competition early. So he tells him. Well that's a villain quirk. Who wants to see your bones everywhere. I'll say like. Deku's like not really offended by this. Because Deku's like. Uh, I'll see how you would think of that. I'll say. Deku also uses like. Uh, the bones are just like his his like original strength but like Deku also does iron bone training and like every single bone in his body he does exercises so it was like he's already really really fast and really strong he can probably beat an adult if he's trying so yeah so Bakugo like says what did you say he let's say Bakugo already had like a giant influence in the school in kindergarten, so like he says, "What do you say? You're just a quirkless loser." You know, so you're a villain. Your quirk is villainous. And Luke says, "Well, if that's your thing, if you think that it's a villainous quirk, it's a villain, then, then very well. That's your opinion." And Baku gets mad at this, and he attacks Deku. See, so he blasts Deku right in the face. And he, like, blasts off, like, a couple of, like, some skin off. And everybody's shocked of what Bakugo did. And Deku says, uh, just a flesh wound. As he, as all the muscle just starts, like, regrowing, his eye just starts recovering. And then his flesh just starts, like, growing more and more, like, over it. And Bakugo's like, what kind of freak are you? Can you not die? Nick says, 
Well, from an attack like that, probably no. I don't think Baku gets mad at it, so he tries to attack Deku again. But Deku just... Deku just shoots out all his bones through, like, his whole entire body. So it's like... When Baku tries to attack him... If he attacks him, he's gonna get... He's gonna get hit by his bo By Deku's bones, which are very sharp. And I'll say he doesn't want to... He doesn't want to actually feel like any of the attacks. So Deku, like, develops his own special move. He calls it... Bone forest, like, bo uh, he's let's say that he calls it um skeleton dance, which he summons like a bunch of bones throughout the ground. And he's able to travel through them. So yeah. So, a lot of time passes. Deku's, like, still training with, like, his bone quirk. He develops, like, his, uh, skeleton dance can... Let's say he could reach, like... Give or take... 100 meters. Like, 100 to 200 meters if he's trying. Like, somewhere, like, from 100 to 150. Yeah, somewhere around that. So, like, you don't want to be stuck in that. So, Bakugo still calls him a villain. Deku wants to go to UA. And when that happens, Bakugo says, you should not put me on all these B-listers. And then she just says, is it Kumidori? Did you also want to go to UA? And, see, some people, like, look at Deku, like, menace. Like, give menacing looks to Deku, like, disgusted looks. Bakugo also gives him a disgusting look and says... Really? A villain like you? Why do you want to go to UA? Probably just infiltrate him and get information. Ruin over people's chances. You should take a skydive off, off a... Just skydive off a, off a building. Nick says, been there, done that. And everybody asks, wait, what? Nick says, and they ask, what do you mean? Nick says, I climbed up a skyscraper and I jumped off of it. And I ask, really? Dick says, yeah. Just. Michael kept repeating it so much that I decided to actually try it out and see what happens. I was like, like some heroes are like, some heroes actually question him. Deku like, why did he do that? And Dick says, it seemed like fun, so he did. <laughs> Uh, like most of the heroes just like face palm themselves like uh, you're a dumb kid aren't you a teenager actually so yeah technically that point still stands so yeah let's say Deku also has like his second curse mark mode which like increases his durability also his attack power like all his stats gets increased by like drains his, like dirt it drains him really quickly of his power So yeah. So okay. So I said Dan Bako says, really? There's no way he can survive and Dex says Alright, let's find out. So Deku activates his second mode, grabs Bakugo and just like jumps on top of the roof and he says Well who jumps first? You or me? And Baku's like, What are you talking about, you freak? Nick says, Exactly what I meant. Who jumps first? You or me? And uh, Baku says, I'm not jumping. Do you want me to kill myself? Nick says, No. Just want to show you. You should not be talking about something you, have, you haven't experienced. And Nick just jumps. Deku's like talks to Baku, then he just like jumps like head first. But Deku doesn't even do anything. Like he just hits the ground. Let's say like his his bones like covered covered him from getting that much of an impact on him. So he's not he's not hurt. He's not hurt at all. And Baku says, "Huh? So he finally died." 
He's like, good. That villain's finally gone. And then he, hears, and then he hears, and he's like, huh, good, I ended a, a villain's life. So, so, finally, I can become a hero. And then he hears a voice. Bakugo! How did you like that? Are you gonna try next? And he's like, damn it, that guy survived. And just like walks back into the classroom and the teacher asks him, why did you jump? Like, asks him, what did he do? So that just jumped off the roof. And the teacher says, fine, just take your seats. Don't interrupt the class anymore. Maybe some of the people in the class are like, hmm, impressive, but like, so why would you do that? It's just like out of nowhere. Yeah. So let's say like the sludge going attack happens. It's like, yeah. It's like, huh. Well, the sludge villain like let's say he deco activates his bones and just like the sludge villain crawls through and I'm just like, huh. Finally, you're stuck in my maze. So I could just like, they could just gross his bones out in like every single direction. So the villain is just like stuck in this giant, like he just like makes a giant box with like bones going back and forth like in multiple directions. And uh, I'll say the villain is just like confused where he is. And let's say Omae comes and um, Omae asks you if he sees this kid with like bones. He says, I never villain. And he asks, hey you. Have you seen a sludge villain around here? Still keeping his guard on. Dick says, Yeah, he's stuck in this maze. And Oma's like, Really? How'd you make the maze? Dick says, I just, grew, I just ripped out a bone. And you know, I know I'm gonna like. Because like, he literally just used his bone from his arm and a leg. From one of his arms and one of his legs. <laughs> So yeah, the villain next just like says to him, all right, wait, wait, wait. He just closes off every single exit. He says to oh my dad, he should be fine. Just make sure he doesn't stay there. He's probably gonna get lost. Just open up one, one exit. Like in a prison, he's probably gonna be stuck there for a while. And let's say Oma says, young man. He's like, fine. And, uh, let's say the sludge villain, like, breaks, like, off, like, a little bit. Like, let's say the deck, like, when he closed it, like, like, the sludge villain was, like, get out a little bit. He's able to, like, slowly over time just, like, erode, like, erode it and just, uh, just make sure that it doesn't, that it doesn't fully close. And then the sludge villain escapes and almost, like, Wait, what? Sludge villain's gone. What happened? I think Deku was also walking home. He's like, ah, uh, He's like, ah, uh, man. Why? Let's say he, he just, like, rushes behind the sludge villain and says, Really, man? You're really gonna do this again? So then the sludge villain's like, Oh, it's you. You, kid. Nick says, Yeah, it's me. I say he sees Baku trapped and he's like, ah. Well. Dick just kicks him. I say Deku just like has enough force in his kick. Just like. The slime around, uh. The sludge around uh, Deku's kick. Just got blasted. Deku doesn't really even connect with Baku. He just hits this, the sludge that. Baku just like. Well, the force just sends Baku flying out of the sludge villain. So the sludge runs like, how dare you? Dick says, because I do. I do dare. And Dick says, all right, time to activate it. He says, all right, curse mark. Two. He says, all right, curse mark. Two. And let's say that some of the heroes are shocked because do you look at this guy as like he's a villain? Like just has like a giant spear slash shield and a whip, 
like a bunch of like a bunch of like bones just like sticking out of his back and in the tail now and Nick says all right final move see Deku like he just pulls his bones back and just kicks the sludge villain this like knocks the sludge villain out and the media tries to like talk to Deku and Deku's like yeah it's like all right skeleton dance he hits the ground and just like people see like one giant pillar of like bone appear and there's like it's like another one then like the new station to get like another one up here like say 150 meters somewhere and just like that was just like climbed out of it is like uh Nick just removes then destroys the bone that was there and yeah and uh, all my still want talks to Deku, but I would take him one for all. And Deku says, "No, he would not." They ask, "Why wouldn't you want to accept one for all?" And Deku says, "Cause I don't want to." See, all my says, "All right, please let me train you." Deku says, "Fine." She didn't keep up, old man. And let's say Deku's like around, uh, see, twenty percent. When he's not like Deku does have like a curse mark, but like he thinks that it, it's the curse mark for him is just like him, him having like a limit breaker state. Deku has like limit breaker, or, like limit breaker one point five, limit breaker two. Like he has limit breaker one, two, and just like like he's able to like get power from like he has limit breaker one and limit breaker one. Point five, and then number breaker two. And they ask the woman asked to see how strong Deku is, and Deku let's say Deku's like way more developed. He looks like super strong. That um, oh my like says all right, so maybe you'll be able to handle twenty percent. Deku says twenty percent of what? Oh my just punches him. Oh my punches him like it in the ribs. Next like oh. Fighting. And, Oma, and Deku's just like sent flying, and his like his head la lands in some sand. He just like rolls over a couple of times. Almost says, "Oh shoot, maybe I've killed him." And Deku just like Deku jumps up and just like attacks on my back. He says, "All right, steel, steel bone punch." I would say the steel bone punch caused caused All Might to go. 30% to just like block the blow just like knock it back it looks like oh all right then this he puts his he gets his hand and says little breaker grade one I think like a mark appears on him the deck was like shirt is like blown off like a mark appears on him and all I see is that this mark starts to, like Getting like around his chest, and oh my says, What's that? Nick says, Eh, my power boost. And and Deku just charges it all my. He says, All right. He says, Iron Maiden. Deku sprouts bones from him and just like tries to like a like bear hug, bear hug all my, but all my like dodges just, just in time. Nick says, All right. Spear mechanism. And that was able to like de detach like his limbs. Like he's able to dislocate his joints and just like to make his attacks longer. So all my things that huh, you'll never be able to get me from this side. Deku just like dislocates every single joint in his hand and just goes Iron Iron Spear. And, like, his bones just, like, harden. His bones, like, come out and make a spear around his hand. And you can just... Like, like it's not sharp, so it's, like... Just, like, a blunt object just hits All Might. And All Might just, like, sent back a little bit. Next says, alright. Maybe we'll get to see my next four. He puts his hands together and says, Let me break your 1.5. And Limit Breaker 1.5 is, um, 
the mark just like goes all around him, like his hands, his hands, his palms, like the mark is just like all around him. Like it's not changing his body, but like you can see the mark is just like fully around him. And oh my ass, what's with that? Looks says it's one point five. And this actually pushes All Might to like 60%. And then All Might says, alright. Say like 60% and like... And All Might's just like beating Deku easily. And Deku goes in second mode and he's able to like... Hold on for like a little bit. He His stamina is running low because he needs to use so many bone attacks. Just like... Get All Might to stop just for a little bit and attack him. So yeah, that will be part one to what if Deku had, uh, that's where part one is going to end. So yeah, bye.